Hey guys, and what is up? In this video, we are doing Ronald Weasley vs. Jacob Malfoy. Now guys, this is my personal opinion. I would like to see your opinion down in the comments below. But let's get into the video. So guys, it will be based on the three categories. One, dueling. Two, magical knowledge. And three, overall power. Those are the three categories that we will base this fight off of. Now guys, Ron lost to Hermione in about a second and also cannot do non-verbal magic. Although he made it snow in the Great Hall not knowing how and could never do it again. He cannot do wandless magic either. Ron defeated a Death Eater in the Astronomy Tower unhurt. Ron could do the stupefy spell with total ease once he got the hang of it. He could do also do the Expelliarmus charm, and he defeated Fenrir Greyback with Neville Longbottom's help. By the time he was 16, he could duel adult wizards and witches. Pretty impressive. Now for those reasons, he gets a 4 out of 5 for... Dueling. Next, we got Draco Malfoy. Draco Malfoy knew the Serpent Sortia spell very early in his Hogwarts years. He also knew how to do lots of hexes and jinxes, bullying other students and bragging about how good he was. He could also do the Cruciatus Curse, which he tried to use on Harry when they were fighting in the bathroom. Now guys, I couldn't say much about him, I didn't say much about him, but he is a great duel, dueler, and for those reasons, gets a 4.5 out of 5. So Draco wins that round, but for round 2, magical knowledge. Ron was very smart when you think about it. He figured out how to use the com very confusing Deluminator, and he was the best student at Wizard's Chess at Hogwarts. I don't know if the best, but definitely, in my personal opinion, the best. If you don't know what Wizard's Chest is, it is a bit game. It is a game based on to test your skills and strategies. Although he was a lazy student, he also knew the about the Unbreakable Vow, which Harry didn't. In the last movie, he was remembering a lot of stuff Hermione said one year before which Hermione called brilliant. For those reasons, he gets a 5 out of 5 in magical knowledge. Next, we got Draco Malfoy. Draco was very smart also. He knew how to perform all unforgivable curses and thought of the vanishing cabinet. Yes, guys, if you don't know, Drana if you don't know that Draco thought of the vanishing cabinet trick, then now you do. Filch said in the second book that Peeves was destroying the Vanishing Cabinet. So Draco Malfoy repaired it in the sixth book. You have to be pretty smart to fix all of that dark magic. And he probably had a way high, he probably had way higher grades than Ron and Harry. But this is smart and I think in get this category, Ron is a bit smarter. Maybe not higher grades, but I think he would outthink Malfoy in the subject. For those reasons, he gets a 4.5 out of 5. Ron wins this round. Now on to overall power. Sadly, Ron wasn't hungry for power. He was a lazy student and spent most of his time with Harry and Hermione, or playing wizard's chest, or even sleeping. But he wasn't stupid. He knew how to outthink his opponents, and he was very brave. He also had great memory, and he actually listened in class. Remembering many things and fig figuring out very confusing things. He could also do the Imperial Curse with ease. Ron thought about the Basilisk thing also. On how to destroy the one Horcrux. Dumbledore being the most powerful wizard of all time and being at Hogwarts for that many years never thought about the things in the basement. Now, for those reasons, he, in the 
overall power gets a 4.5 out of 5. Now on to the last round, overall power for Draco Malfoy. He's a very powerful dueler. dueler. He is a powerful dueler, dueler and is very aggressive when it comes to duels. Throwing in lots of powerful curses. He is likely to crumble under pressure, but I don't think that would happen in a 1v1. He is very confident, arrog arrogant, and ambitious. And a ambitious wor wizard, sorry. He is very talented. He could achieve a lot of things if he wasn't forced into following his father's footsteps. We didn't see fully what he was capable of doing, but we saw he could do non-verbal magic and do unforgiv unforgivable curses non-verbally. He, he was powerful, but I think if he was in the Weasley family, he would be one of the most powerful wizards. But he wasn't, so yeah. For those reasons, he gets a f 5. Whoops, I accidentally put 5.5 .5 out of 5. I meant to put 5 out of 5. So, real quick, he gets a 5 out of 5 for overall power. So guys, the winner is Draco Malfoy. Now, this is a very hard decision, and Draco probably maybe wouldn't have won, but this is my personal opinion. When I was looking at it, it was very, very close, and, but I thought Draco would come up on top. Comment saying your opinion down below. Anyway guys, like, comment, and subscribe. This is the end of this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.